Like a kite, a paraglider flies within what is known as the wind window. In practical terms, this window is a space in which the wing can fly. This space is defined by the wind and the relative position of the pilot. It's a quarter of a sphere facing the wind, of which the radius is the length of the lines. This window comprises several distinct zones. In green is what is known as the edge of the window. At the window's edge, the power of the wing is at its weakest. The canopy flies very slowly and can even stop flying altogether. Kite surfers use the edge of the window to launch and stop their kites in safety. Inflation at the edge of the window in strong winds can also be performed by some paraglider pilots, but a high level of skill is required. In red, the zone facing the pilot is the power zone. It's here that the wing is at its most powerful. In paragliding, the wing can fly from the top to the bottom and from one side to the other up to the edge of the window. For a paraglider, the wind window and its different zones exist in the same manner as for kiting. In red, the power zone. The wing strongly resists the wind, producing a pulling effect. In green, the lift zone. The air begins to flow over the wing's profile as it progressively reaches flying speed. This is why, in strong winds, the movement of the wing in the power zone is the critical point of the inflation. You can greatly limit the power of the wing in this zone by moving towards it 